Tens of thousands of supporters of the Popular Front for the Reparation of Palestine PFLP, gathered in Palestine Stadium in Gaza City to mark the 43rd anniversary of the establishment of the faction. Men and women, young and old, waved the PFLP's red flag, chanting slogans and calling for unity among Palestinians. Our message today is a message of unity. It's a must in order to be able to face the Israeli policies. We hope the division between Fatah and Hamas comes to an end soon and that all Palestinian detainees and political prisoners are released from Israeli jails. A number of PFLP leaders addressed the crowds, demanding an end to the Palestinian divisions and urging Palestinians of all factions to review their policies and work seriously towards the reformation of the PLO based on democratic and national grounds. Today we assert our adherence to our national rights and call for the halt of the so-called peace talks, which has proved to be a fiasco. We also call for the convening of all Palestinian factions to adopt new strategies. The PFLP was founded by George Habash on December the 11th, 1967, and is currently the second largest faction in the PLO. At the PFLP's sixth national conference in 2000, Habash stepped down as general secretary. Abu Ali Mustafa was elected to replace him, but was assassinated in August 2001, when an Israeli helicopter fired rockets at his office in the West Bank town of Ramallah. The current secretary general of the PFLP is Ahmad Saadat, who has been in Israeli prison since 2006. Hamas has demanded his release, along with that of many of other Palestinian prisoners, but not to avail. On the 43rd anniversary of the establishment of the Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine, people here say it is important to form one front to face all the challenges. Yusuf Al-Halo, Press TV, Gaza.